welcome back to my Blinks 2 walkthrough. Mission to three, mission, mission one with the round three was done for, for half of the previous part, and this is going to be the rest of it here. Alright, going to be using slow so I can get all the gold that's in there, and switch to the sweeper so that way I, oh wait no, it doesn't matter uh, what sweeper I used. Oh well, doesn't matter. As long as I can grab the gold in time before, and apparently I'm not. Oh no, we am still going to be just barely be able to grab all of them before I ran out. All right, open the four lids. Better watch out how it balances. All right, these spirits have been set free, and they're going to open up one of the paths to where I need to go, which is the secret passage. I found the secret passageway. There is a bomb trap down there. Rainbow, rescue Mick and get the information. Rescue your fellow time sweepers. But I'll still get gold if I can be able to, to fin um, finish this with a key and make sure not to fall down there. Actually, I can fall down there if I can use a pause to get bomb ammo. Better watch out though when I try to sweep them, because if I end up letting go of them when they and then they explode, I lose health, and apparently not going to get maximum life um, for this one. Not going to get maximum life gold for this. Oh, that monster's back again. I might as well uh, get more, extra more stuff out of it. First, I'm going to go this way and grab even more trash here to fill this up to maximum, and then sweep, and then finish the sweep up those. And I'm actually going to go the long way back. Whoa! Oh, there! Apparently, that monster came back. That monster always comes back. Wow! All right, it's time to rescue Mick. There's nothing else to do. Might as well get some of the stuff out of this sweeper for, for that, and get, get some more of, of this trash that filled up in this sweeper before I go over to Mick. Looks like I'm not going to be maxed out of that one. Okay, then I guess I'll just finish with this. And, okay, or, or not. That monster just also still keeps always a three up here. Okay, then, uh, there's, there's no time to lose. I might as well just finish now. At least I got the level one sweeper maxed out with trash. Just got a uh, melee attack this, and the kid just broke. Thanks. Are you okay? I'm fine. Look, the Tom Toms are heading that way. There's a huge cave at the end of the canal. That's probably where the big crystal fragment is. Oh, okay, you're right. What? Go after them. I'll be okay. Okay, hang in there. Yeah, he's gonna be okay, even though he did get hurt a bit from the Tom Toms before getting captured. After getting captured. Two thousand eight hundred twenty-seven gold. That's a really good start right now. Yo, cats! It's not safe to go any further. If you don't want to drown, turn back. According to Mick, the Tauntaun gang has set several bombs in the cave. Most of, more importantly, the cave submerges underwater every time a bomb explodes. You must either get to the canal before the cave fills with water, or defuse the bombs one by one. This is a dangerous task, task so please proceed with caution. I'm going to do it in the way to get all of those defused. It's actually a lot easier that way. And I better not talk very much in this mission because there are a lot of places to mess up. The pirates flaming arrows? The Tauntauns must have set them off. Um, apparently this is new, it's similar to the cluster missiles, and it, it can be an instant death getting hit by them too. But unlike the cluster missile attack though, the, the, there's no way that that glitch of being hit, no matter if going to the right arrows or not, will happen for those. Good job! Got 300 gold for a reward for being able to get through that with us using a slow. The first bomb to defuse is right, right up to here, and it's going to start the point of the countdown. 
operator here. That's a time bomb the Tauntaun Gang set. If you don't defuse it, it'll explode and the water level will rise. So I can't have any, too, too much time to, uh, time to use to be able to get a lot of gold, so I have to try to get moving to fuse these as I'm going. Got to use a rewind here, and I have to start getting a little, a little two sweeper on uh, um, some intention. Oh, come on, sweep it up. Can't take too long, or, or that, the bind will change back to normal. Okay, all clear and get in the right position before I can defuse, try to defuse that. And there is a glitch actually in this mission that when even if you defuse a, a bomb by going like that, sometimes it'll still uh, cause an explosion and water level will still rise. It's happened. To me anyway. It's really tricky to grab all the gold on this slide. Apparently you gotta try, you have to do jumps over and over again to grab all of it. Sometimes you have to jump to get back into position. Alright, about way more than halfway through this, and I gotta stop in the third 30 seconds. There is a, a, a metal to get up there, but there's only one chance to, grab, to try to get it. But before I do, I'm going to, do, to get rid of this and end the part off. Alright, thank you for watching the, the rest of Mission 1 for the sweepers in the round 3 and also a portion of Mission 2 and the rest of Mission 2 will be done in this and a portion of Mission 3 will also follow. EcoCat Nathan signing off.